Let me stress that the elections are Afghan-led and Afghan-managed. Now is the time to take uh, critical decisions. The government has committed to making this an inclusive, consultative, and transparent process. I welcome the active and responsible participation by all stakeholders in building a widely accepted electoral framework. The government favors an electronic national identity card project. This is an important initiative with wide-ranging applications. It should be used to the extent possible in the 2014 and 2015 elections. At the same time, it is important to understand that there may be few improvements in voter identification for elections during those two years. This makes other checks and balances, including widely agreed rules of the game and anti-fraud measures, all the more essential. The economic transition is also about improving aid effectiveness, ensuring alignment with national priorities and accountability and transparency of aid spend spending. Aid delivery and efficiencies are particularly important at a, at a time in which we not only face economic instability as a result of conflict, but unemployment and poverty remains significant problems. As a part of the outcome of any process, the Taliban and other armed opposition groups must end violence, break ties with al-Qaeda, and accept Afghanistan's constitution. The outcomes of peace and reconciliation must respect the historic achievements that a unified and sovereign Afghanistan has made over the past decade, including protecting the rights of all citizens of Afghanistan, women and men, as guaranteed under the Constitution. Since 2002, the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan has played an indispensable role in the country's progress. As Afghanistan continues its transition, UNAMA needs to remain a committed partner, and we as a council need to sustain our support during this crucial time. UNAMA has weathered significant budget reductions over the last two years, and we believe these cuts has, have gone as far as they reasonably can. UNAMA's resources should be stabilized now and the mission allowed to carry out its mandate with its core functions intact. The Afghan government, with the support of the international community, should continue to make further progress on the areas that underpin sustained economic growth and development. These include, in particular, areas such as education, health, and other basic services for women and girls, as well as strengthened respect for human rights, so that all can play a full part in the collective life of a stable and prosperous Afghanistan.